Hmm. What is this one? Chasing the frozen wave. What's that? Oh, it's blue. I wonder what this will do. What sick! <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't look at the camera. Eh? <laughs> Got your thingy ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, yeah, fucking, I'm just gonna flow with it, man. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Yo, what up, Justin? Hey, Ryan, Hi. Man, what are you doing there? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. In today's episode, we've got a special guest, Justin Backus from the Netherlands. Hey guys. Uh, he's gonna be joining us on this trip. So we've just spent the last few days um, driving up from Nagano area where we've been based for the last month. Um, we thought we're going to try and come north um, to chase the frozen wave. But as you can see around us, not much snow left. Nothing, no snow. So now we're in Tohoku, um, which is the most northern part of the mainland of Japan. And this mountain behind us is Mount Iwate. And um, we're going to be spending the next few days exploring the little smaller local ski resorts around here and then hoping tonight it snows um, we've checked the forecast there's about 12 centimeters predicted over at Apikogen which is a little bit more north of here on Mount Hachimantai yeah I mean this season it's been a little bit of a slow one uh, there's been very little episodes compared to last season but you know what we just got to have fun we've got to roll with it we drew it. How long did it take us to get here? Two days to get up Two here? Two days, yeah. Yeah. Two days in a Absolutely <laughs> surprised. It was 18 degrees when we traveled up here. 18 degrees and it rained. And I reckon it wiped off so much of the snow. Not much base left, but hopefully with a bit of luck, we get a bit of snow tonight and we'll be sweet for tomorrow. Yeah, so unfortunately, guys, I think chasing the frozen wave is kind of done for this season. <laughs> now we're just chasing the fun, hey? we we'll just have fun. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to head today, we're going to head to Shimokura Ski Resort, um, which is linked to Panorama Ski Resort, I think it is. I'll leave the information up here. Um, we're going to try that out today. We're just going to warm up, get our legs back into it after such a long drive. And then tomorrow, we're going to head up to Apikogen. So guys, stick around, uh, check out the rest of the episode, and... Yeah, hope you enjoy this riding segment. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> that was pretty good. I do. No, that was fucking good, man. Yeah, man. <sighs> you just got out some shit, eh? Yeah, yeah. Kind of yeah, yeah. <laughs>
as you can see guys the snow is pretty bad it's pretty firm it's been raining for a couple of um, days actually actually pouring down so uh, it's pretty bad but we're having fun the army is here to support us <laughs> guys hope you like that little edit of shima kuda ski resort um yeah we went there spent just a few hours there uh it was as you can see in the video it was pretty icy very hard pack no fresh snow it was absolutely cold i had to duck off early and then justin carried on for the afternoon for a few more runs uh, but yeah you see the military guys there going up training on these like super old skis They've actually got a Japanese name, but I can't remember what it is. I'll try to figure it out. But they got like these old telemark bindings, old leather boots, and everyone's just eating shit. So it was pretty funny. So we thought, uh, yeah, we didn't get any good action shots yesterday. So tried to sneakily uh, video the guys coming down. So it was pretty fun. Woke up this morning. We had a bit of fresh snow last night, which was predicted. Um, so we made our way to Appy Kogan, which we're here now. We're just inside the van getting ready, uh, van's on, trying to warm up the boots. This is pretty fresh, I think it's like minus four just now, uh, up at the car park at Appy. So coming up, instead of focusing on some video shots for this edit, we're going to try and get some powder shots of Justin, um, some photographs. So we'll try and get some powder sprays, and I'll attach the Insta360 on the camera, give you guys a behind the scenes. But yeah, we'll see what we get at Appy. Uh, we don't have Hiroma and Tomo, unfortunately, and they had to shoot off, so that's why there's a little bit more limited video in this episode. But yeah, we'll see what we can get. You want some spray shots, eh? Yeah, some spray shots would be good. Actually, we can manage with the 10 centimeters we got overnight. 10 centimeters? I think so. Yeah. Five? Yeah, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what we got. But uh, yeah, Justin's been trying to get these spray shots for the last, well, like eight years or some shit. And uh, we've never actually, we've only read maybe twice together, yeah, eh? So, yeah, pretty, pretty hectic. Sometimes the winter seasons are that busy, it's hard to cross paths. So, today, fingers crossed, uh, yeah, let's see what we get. Happy Kogan. <laughs> Out. <laughs> Out. All right, so we just got up the Api Gondola. Um, we came off Looker's left towards second area. So we're trying to get away from the crowd a little bit. As you can see, yeah, it's some really nice soft dry snow. We've got about this much of a top layer. Um, under it's a kind of hard packed crust. But the benefit of that is I've just set Justin off on a little hike up to the little hill there. And um, so he's able to boot pack up really easily. 
so it's, we're not sinking super deep. We've got just enough snow to get some powder shots today. So we're gonna aim for the first shot now, coming under this tree in this open area, and yeah, let's see how we get on. Yeah. Yeah, I got some spray. That's good. It's like a pop on my hands. You don't see shit. So that was first shot. So shot number one worked out pretty well. Uh, kind of nice open area. Got some spray. Um, yeah, it's, it's turned out really nice. We've got the sun coming through now. So yeah, we're just going to spend this morning getting some powder shots. And then probably in the afternoon we'll do some kind of follow cam and rides. So next shot, shot number two, is I've set Justin kind of back up to the same little mound. And he's going to drop down a different area and I'm going to set up under this pine tree here. So the, the top of the pines are going to be kind of creating a window and he's going to come through the center there. And yeah, that's my image. So hopefully we get the shot. Woo! Nice shot. Yeah, it should be nice. Oh dude, I know, it looks so good. Yeah? Where you are? Yeah, it's still kind of hard underneath, eh? Yeah, Ready when you are. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the side, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. No. Ready when you are? Yeah. Woo. That was better. Woo. Woo. I see it. I see. Yeah, we got this whole bit here too. Ooh, and now the sun comes out. <laughs> Let's keep it true. 
Okay, okay, it's recorded though. Okay. This is pretty natural, bro. It's pretty natural. All right, guys. So we're gonna wrap up this episode here. Um, we just spent the weekend, or about four days, in uh, this prefecture. Well, in Tohoku region, and we've actually been in two prefectures: Iwate Prefecture and Akita Prefecture. So we spent the first day at Shi Shimakura. Shimakura. You remember it? Yeah. Uh, Shimakura, Shimakura with the with the Japanese army there. That was really fun, super icy, very hard pack, not the best condition, but that was the first time there and I was uh, trying to make a bit more of an interesting segment with that. Next day we went to Api Kogan, which was the whole reason we came up here was to chase this snowstorm that was hitting. Uh, and yeah, and it hit. So we managed to get some really good powder shots, eh? Yeah. Uh, got some behind the scenes of how we do the powder shots with the photos. And then we spent the rest of the afternoon just riding. It was so fun. And then yesterday we finished up at Tawazako or Takawa. I don't remember. Tazawako. Tazawako. Tawazako. Tawazako. Excuse me. Tawazako. Tazawako. Tawazako. I don't remember. Maybe Tawazako Ski Resort. I'll put it up here, whatever it is. Or leave a comment below. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. What do you think of that one yesterday? Yeah, yesterday was a beautiful day. Um, cool little small. Japanese resort. Yeah. Good thing to explore. So Especially beautiful. on a good powder day will be yeah. amazing tree runs. Um huge drain. We had um we got a little bit lucky yesterday with the snow. Uh, we wasn't expecting too much. It was a Saturday, it was pretty busy, and we thought, ah we'll go to to this resort. We've heard good things about it. We wasn't expecting too much because of the snow, but man, we found we managed to find some secret stashes, eh? Mm. So we got some epic powder shots. Uh, and that was the last resort in this area. Tomorrow we're going to check out a small resort, but I can't remember the name of it. Um, just tomorrow we're going to travel down to Ghetto Kogan, a little bit further south of here. So we're going to have one little ride, um, just get away from the crowds a little bit. But yeah, we'll wrap up this episode here. Uh, today we just hiked up to this outdoor bath in the river. Nice little secret spot. Pretty yeah, awesome, eh? It's beautiful. Half an hour hike, yeah. and we got a natural onsen for ourselves so it's beautiful yes. here no one around um, amazing hot water yeah perfect temperature although there's some I don't know if you guys can see the little bubbles popping up they're really hot and when they're climbing up your body it's pretty hot but generally it's it's kind of warm here and nice yeah man beautiful yeah if you guys want to know where this is leave a comment below uh, maybe I'll share it with you guys maybe I won't Maybe yeah. you tell me. Maybe in a DM. But yeah, look at this spot. Stunning. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Matane. Peace out. <laughs> Peace out, bro. <laughs> ah. Well, miss, I guess I'll be on my way.